Time ago, the Olodiama clan in his own land had various kind of masquerades believed to have come from the ocean as deities of protection, wealth, health, and fertility dwelling among the people. As the years go by, it was discovered that some of the masquerades were going extinct one after the other. To preserve them, the people sought to celebrate the deity. Ngozu is one of these ancient deities of the Olubabri people in the Olodema clan of southern Ijo local government area in Bayelsa state that has stayed with its people till date. Hence, the festival which is celebrated annually. <laughs> To history, the Ngozu masquerade was strictly celebrated by the owners, a Werewari and a Karaware family. Until 1993, a European lady who witnessed it decided to sponsor and give the celebration of the Ngozu deity publicity. Meanwhile, her video recording of the Ngozu masquerade failed. There was absolutely no shot of the masquerade in the entire videography process. This was a mystery. <laughs> I be over if you do me doing over so did I care about Mufati. A Mufati me nineteen ninety four me a barbell. A bell will man water money. Carabai water my water water muck a be over in Nana. So bell will man water money ladder be over bell Messiah pre. A coin buggy buggy a bear money a bear a more bad and a more man water more bad boy more be you be say boy my penny arm back a bell about moon after some years the presence of the masquerade seemed to be disappearing it was in this light that mr egba in 2007 decided to publicize and archive the material for the awareness of Olubabri unborn generation.
Engozu is an Ijo term which literally implies wells. But it means more to its worshippers in the community of Alokbabri, its environs and beyond. For them, it entails the entirety of all human goodness, prosperity, protection and peace, physical wealth, health and fertility. <laughs> The ancient deity which is believed to have emerged from the river is celebrated in the second month of every year. The celebration day always witnessed the public outing of the Ngozu masquerade in its full glory, displaying to the dance tune of its traditional song orators. <laughs> the masquerade performing, prayers for wealth and protection are offered to the deity and in return, the Ngozu deity blesses the people with goodies. Every act of the masquerade is significant. <laughs> Hurry up, 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 hurry up
The priesthood of the Ngozu deity is exclusive to members of the Ewariwari and Ikarawari family, with one man from Ikarawari bearing and carrying the deity as masquerade, and the man from Ewariwari family administering every activity in the shrine. The first Ngozu priest that bears the masquerade was Mr. Iyere from Ikarawari family while Mr. Kaiser was the first person to perform traditional ritual of administering food and drinks in and around the shrine. <laughs> So, Beobe, a yarrier bear, we can tat tare, pan, obey sibe camana, and be yarre be our nimmer, our nimmer, a yarreca, o sibewe, then Kaiser Pompon, o caraba, woo to our way, caratima. Timio, be yarre be bofe, yarre be feme, cosmo cababo, obey sibe. Cosmo be babo, we sibe, Kaiser ba, woo to atim. Then Cosme will be me, Cosme will be fair. Cosme will be able to fair for me. Be your way. Kaiser, Kaba, me to me will be sound there. Kaiser can me a poor mutton. Bo can you kill like me? Obe, Bo Toro, Torcaba, Bo will see me. Only be a mele or only dessert on Moko will be severe. Ne. Me at him like a little bay over his bin. Obey over his day, men if you may. Kaiser, by Wood Trotten, Kaiser Baker by Buffet, Kaiser Buffet Borman, um, Cedrak, Cedrak, the Babu Wood Trotten. So to at me if you are on Bo, Tordway for Babu Fair, Tordway Fair, that if you may. Obey us, be Buffa. Anane, um, O Popo, O Popo Cabo, can you kill me a boy more? 
Giant Kaba Bo and Tori Abebra is Aunt Kaba Bo, Obe Sibi. Zant Bebo, Obe Sibi, Mark Cry, Mark Crisay, a bomb, Taro Karam Crimin, Zant Ba Buboa, Zant Ba Buboa, then Me O Popo Dio O Karababu. 19, I mean 2011. For years now, the mantle of celebration has been hosted by great Joshua MacIver, who is a member of the both families. The ardent worshipper has translated the worship of Ngozu deity into a huge festival. <laughs> participate by contributing money, dancing, running, whatever you are doing. You can see the crowd there. Um, people are enthusiastic. People want to be part of it. So the biggest benefit we, we believe is why we celebrate it every January as a job people. We believe that when you are doing this, whatever the business, politics, whatever, it brings wealth. It protects the 
community, it guides us, whatever movement they want to make. Because as I'm a German, there is this belief we have that they are not supposed to die by accident. If you die by accident, gunshot or whatever, meaning your hands are not clean. Because the meaning of a law is truth and our symbol is purity. You must always be pure. And we believe that when you are pure and you are doing this, is no accident will kill you. Whatever you are doing politically and otherwise, you will always, because there are spirit, God has, God has given us some powers, giving the rivers some powers, giving the forest some powers. They're not surely something that is it's a date, it's, it's a festival, it's a mass prayer that protects the community, guides the community, protects the individuals. Whether you believe it or not, as an Olobobri person, as an Olobobri man, as an Olobobri woman, if your hands are clear, directly or indirectly, it's protecting you. That is the major benefit. from far and wide to come and marry and celebrate together as a people. And for me, that is a factor that uh, is very important in the life of our people. Various sacrifices of animals, libations of spirit drinks, and food are offered to the deity as part of the celebration. During the period of this festival, it is binding on all worshippers to attend and take active parts in the celebrations. It is revered as a sacred transitional process. <laughs>
The Ngozi Masquerade Festival can be regarded as one of the most important and most highly celebrated festivals in Ijo land. It is always held in high esteem. It is an event full time made to unite, restore, reaffirm, and cleansing for its worshippers. At the end of every festival, its worshippers always attest to enjoying riches, good health, safe delivery of pregnant women, and protection. <laughs> To the people, and for the fact that I was a partaker, it also robbed me. And I believe that by next year, this time, I also be the one to testify that, yes, indeed, Moses' blessing also affected me positively. I want to thank the great Joshua MacGyver for the wisdom and courage he has taken upon himself to ensure that uh, this festival, which is very rich and significant to our people, come back to life. tradition and customs, meaning you are playing with your history at a point, you will be like somebody without history, somebody without origin. And if you don't know where you are coming from, meaning you don't know where you are going. So we decided to come together and say, hey, let's bring up this thing again, because this is our identity. As far as we are concerned, it's our identity and it's nothing evil about it. Since we are doing this, the kind of laws you keep, the kind of laws you keep, you can sleep with somebody's wife, you can't lie, you can't Cheat somebody, you always keep your hands clean.